Hey Gemini, what's up? Welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. My name is Sonia and today we are going to do the He Said, She Said spread. It's been a while and I just felt the need to bring it back thanks to one of my followers. So let's see, if you like this type of spread between you and the other person, make sure to drop your like to let me know that you appreciate it and that you want to see it back on the channel. So let's see, my dear Gemini, what are the messages for you and whomever you are dealing with? What are the messages for you? What happened here in the past? All right, we have the Six of Swords reversed with the Page of Pentacles. I just want to draw all the cards. That's the situation clarified with the Justice reversed. Then, in your present situation, we have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Star reversed. In your blockage, we have the Queen of Cups reversed, the Seven of Cups reversed, and the Queen of Swords reversed. Ay, ay, ay. In your intentions, we have the Ten of Swords reversed, whoa, the Nine of Wands reversed, and the Fool breaking free in the outside influence we have the strength card we have the king of wands and we have the two of swords i want one more on that and the nine of swords okay bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles so it looks like you've been going in and out of a relationship here and you you had this I feel like you had this bond with this individual and you could just simply not let go of them and you kept on going backwards or you've kept on thinking about them you kept on reaching out but you know trying to uplift the whole relationship or see if there's going to be any type of commitment or something that is going to roll out of it and you kept on rolling the dice and it just didn't seem to bring you any type of justice you felt like this person was not treating you well and that they were, um, they kept on judging you or they kept on kind of like, I feel like they, they kept on throwing your hands away as in like, no, I don't want it. Like, that's really what I'm picking up on or at least in their energy. So you felt a little bit rejected and definitely felt like you've been putting in way too much energy and you were not receiving it back in return. Right now, I feel like you are coming to some type of clarity, like you made a clear decision mentally, spiritually, in any type of way, and you're like, you know what, this needs to be talked about, I'm going to speak up about this, I am not going to tolerate this anymore, and I feel like you're not going to be trying to heal this relationship anymore, because you've, saw, you've seen something that repelled you from this person like it's like you the way that they spoke to you the they the way that they handled you or their action it just like repelled you off and you were like you know what I'm not going to heal this anymore I'm not going to invest more energy and time into this so right now even though you your mind is clear you know exactly that this is over or you don't want to invest any more longer you are you are emotionally and mentally quite upside down right uh, you might be even get angry or you may feel like very upset you may feel like even that this person was dealing with multiple people and that both your energies kind of like got conflicted in one another's energy so you're you're definitely I'm, I'm really getting dizziness so you may feel at times getting dizzy because you may be overthinking the situation or you're just going through the whole release energy here so also in your intentions you have the ten of swords reversed the nine of wands reversed and the fool which is also telling me that you're ready to let go of this person you're ready to let go of this connection as you felt like it has not been serving you and you're making yourself ready for a new journey a new path and i do feel like there is already someone else in your surrounding or someone that is going to come in which could be definitely a fire sign most definitely a leo in particular that is going to be catching your attention and that is going to be uh, taking you out of this hole 
<laughs> yeah, I wanted to say something. It was like, okay, I cannot say that. But yeah, you're breaking free. You're definitely breaking free of something that has really been sucking up your energy. That's how it looks like. Let's see, Gemini. And, you know, this reading may resonate or may not resonate. We'll go and see. <laughs> What's going on with the other person, please? What's going on with the other person? We have the Page of Wands. The Six of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. Present situation, we have the Moon reversed, the Emperor reversed, and the Nine of Cups. In their blockage, there is a temperance card reversed, the seven of pentacles, and the five of wands. In their intentions, oh, the devil. <laughs> you don't want the intention to be the devil and toxic, right? But then the star, all right. And the four of swords reversed. Outside influence for them is the hierophant, the three of wands reversed, the ace of wands. And the Ace of Cups. I mean, it looks like this person did lose you. That's what I feel. Page of Wands and the Six of Cups in the past is telling me that this person was really very talkative, okay? Like, they, they were all over you. They were telling you that they missed you and that they wanted to see you and that they really adored what you guys had like they were there was a lot of talking but no action right there was a lot of talking a lot of reminiscing a lot of good good vibrations and all of it but then this person did not really pull through like they wanted you to tell them constantly as well like i miss you i want you and all of that but with the six of pentacles in the reverse they were not trying to give you back um, in terms of action right like you people can talk all they want but it's all about the action that they take so i feel like that's where where something got a little bit off balance here right now this person whoa the moon and the emperor being in the reverse and the nine of cups so this person is oh i need a water i need water <laughs> I mean, very controlling at energy is what I'm picking up on. Psychologically controlling. And I don't like it. Like the moon and the emperor, both in the reverse. It's not a good omen. It's someone that plays with your psyche. It's someone that plays with your emotions, feelings. And on top of that, they can be very controlling, demanding, not taking responsibility of their own actions or always kind of like in a blame game type of scenario. And all of it because they want what they want out of a situation it's their own desires that they want to fulfill and they don't really think about the other person they're being very restless about that not not what am i saying not being restless about that it's just like mm. okay never mind what i just said <laughs> just never mind gemini but yeah nine of cups is someone that just want to fulfill their own needs especially if it comes right next to the emperor in the reverse right so very selfish type of energy then we have the temperance reverse the seven of pentacles and the five of wands upright and as well with the six of pentacles reversed it could be talking about them also giving to other people and because they're giving to other people they come short at providing you from what you need so i do get the sense that this person has been involved with other people five of wands is definitely <clears throat> a lot of competition that's going on in regards to your person and your person really waiting to see who is going to fight for them who is going to get their attention who is going to be doing what they want them to do so that's what the emperor is like someone that is very controlling uh, psychically also very controlling so be mindful of that type of energy 
And with the temperance card, it, it looks like this person is completely off balance. They also allow a lot of outside energies to get to them or to distract them. Or um, there might be some type of other conflict that is going on right now. that They are kind of like waiting to see how that is going to be developing before they take any type of action. Very laid back or lazy type of energy is also what I'm picking up on. Oh. And again, you know, in the blockage, having the five of wands, <clears throat> the two queens, and then the seven of cups, which is all about decisions and options, is also not a good one. I'm going to be honest with you. That just definitely tells me that there are multiple people that are involved in this connection and could be even like a third party situation here that's been going on. And your person is just taking what they can take out of a situation. I don't like it. I'm sorry, Gemini. I really don't like that type of energy. Um, all right, so in their intentions, they have the Devil card, the Star, and the Four of Swords. So, I mean... Either they have people that are already addicted to them or they just kick off the energy of getting attention. That's, that's really what I'm picking up on. They want you to get all feisty. They want you to get all on them. Like they want to have all your attention, perhaps even try to make you jealous. And they're not doing the right thing. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, there is a star and there is a four of stars reverse. I feel like they're trying to heal their, um, their guilty consciousness. That, like that's what, or they're taking some type of, like they're addicted to something and they're trying to heal their, their guilty consciousness. That's how I really interpretate this. So, for them and their outside influence, we have the Hierophant, the Three of Wands reversed, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This looks like you. This looks like your energy. Like you're really spiritually growing. You are committing yourself to your own dreams, your own goals, your own visions and what you truly believe in and how you want to commit and dedicate yourself. It's like your own principles, right? Like for example, the principle of not trying to get yourself involved with someone that is a player or someone that is dealing with multiple people or something in that realm, right? Like you're trying to commit yourself to your higher self and you're not trying to, you're not allowing this type of energy to get to you. That's what I feel. And I do get that with the three of wands reverse, you're, you're not expecting this person to make like a radical change right now you feel like this person is completely in chaos right now and you're not even expecting them to commit because this is not someone that will treat you fairly in the long term that's that's definitely what i'm picking up on and again this could be just for one person out there <clears throat> so if it's not your reading don't worry about it but i feel like you are definitely opening yourself up for new love new new energies and <coughs> and I feel like there is definitely this fire sign coming in king of wands Sagittarius Aries or Leo someone that is definitely going to meet your needs as well as have like a fresh new start and a new beginning with you have three aces here so aces are all, all okay. Aces are all about new beginnings, new clarity, new found joy, new found happiness and passion. So there's definitely a clean slate that is coming up for you. And I do feel like you're 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 going to still be attached with this individual. It's not going to go like, okay, I'm cutting this person off completely. No. I think there is going to be a lot of like back and forth that you can expect that's what i feel however you're not going to be as invested in this person as you used to or at least just not believe everything that they say like you're you're not naive anymore what is the outcome strength 
You're not going to be naive anymore. You're going to be standing in your power. You are going to be taming yourself and taming your beast because you know that this person knows your weakness and how to kind of like lure you in. And you're not going to be tolerating that. Look at this. It came out in the reverse, the devil reverse, taming the beast and not allowing them to keep you stuck or to keep you in a toxic environment or situation and overcoming the devil. The strength card is the only card that can overcome the devil and you got the devil in the reverse. I mean like, and the ten of pentacles. So there is most definitely a relationship that is waiting for you here with the ten of pentacles someone that is going to be loyal to you someone that is definitely going to be taking care of you and you are definitely going to let go of this obsession if that was an obsession or if you were dealing with someone that was trying to keep you in an obsessive state of mind without really putting in any type of energy or effort let's see last but not least before we move on to the extended reading Be your true self and miracle. So this is what I feel like you're attracting to yourself. You are going to attract someone that is going to accept you for who you are. And definitely someone that you probably did not even expect to come in this quickly. This person is going to bring a lot of miracles into your life. Or they're definitely going to be healing for you. And most definitely or most importantly they are going to accept you for who you truly are and someone that you can be yourself around without being judged without feeling uh, guilty or without feeling like you 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 are not good enough or you're not giving enough like this person is definitely going to accept you for who you are a time for spirit pink lotus fairy so maybe it is time for you to connect with your spirit guys to do some type of ritual to meditate a little bit and to really go inward and listen to your own spirit and yeah that's what i have time for a change to learn something new to use technology and get just with wisdom Okay, that was just nonsense. <laughs> yeah, that was just like out of the blue. Let's just pull you one more card, okay? Eternal dance, movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. So a lot of people are coming in and out of your life. That is going to be the wheel of fortune, the wheel of life. And sometimes we go up and sometimes we go down. So this is going to be something that you are going to be experiencing definitely with people moving in and out of your life. And that is just going to be the way it is. So allow those people to leave your life. Do not resist these changes and allow whatever information needs to come to you to come to you okay so that's what i have for you my dear gemini i really hope that this reading gave you some insights i really hope so let me know in the comments below and i will see you in the extended ciao